Here we are back at the staple page again. And let me show you that one more form trick. Now I quickly mentioned earlier on they can put in one of these scrolling windows. Now to do this you have to create a new form for that if you want to do this kind of a trick and then put that text in as the default text. So let's go back to our form maker here and manager and we're going to create a new form. I'm going to call this one scrolling text. There we go. I'm not going to have any submissions on this, so that doesn't matter. I can leave that alone. Blank form. So I add a new field. Now what I want is a basic text area. So we have text input, we have selection boxes, radio buttons. So let's do a text input. This will be a text area. There we go. Field label, I'll leave all this stuff alone. That's fine. And here's the value if empty. So in here, I'm going to paste in some text. Now, I have just a, a few comments here that I've selected. I'm just going to grab some of these things just to have some text to paste in. Right click copy. And then I'll right click and I'll paste that in. I'll leave that field size as is. Maybe I'll make it 200 by 200 so it's square and that's all set we now need to set this in which is just off to the side here and we'll save that there's our new text area I actually need to paste the text in right there okay there we go that's where I wanted to have that so paste in the text like that and once we're done we can then save that and again the save is just off to the side there's our save button I've now saved that form if we scroll down a little bit we'll see it that at the bottom of the list okay well now we have that form in place and all that form has on it is just that one scrolling text field nothing else involved let's go back to our pages and all pages and we'll come down here we'll edit our World War II airplanes page let me just readjust my window here a little bit. And update from that last thing we did. So there we go. We'll scroll down. We'll come into here and I'll scroll down beneath this form. And I'll put the new form field right there. There's my insertion point. Let's go back up a little bit. Let's grab that insert form maker button. We'll check out our form here. It's our new scrolling text form. And insert. There we go. Let's make sure that we update. And if everything was done correctly, then we should see our text inside of a scrolling window. Let's scroll down a little bit here. There's a contact form and here's our text area form. Now I had text area in there as the name of that form. I could remove that. I'll go back and do it in just a second. But here's a text that we pre-filled in. There's our scrolling window with pre-filled text. Okay, let's step back a little bit and let's take out that text area name. Let's come back down to the form maker and manager. So you can go back and you can edit these forms afterwards very easily. So we'll come back to our scrolling text, click on edit. And Let's edit this field, which is right there. I'll just delete the label on that and choose Save. I'll get saying as required. So I'm just going to put a period right there. There we go. Good enough. It's got something on there. And then just off screen, up oh, and get rid of that box there. Just off screen up here is the Save button. I'll click on that Save button. And we're all set to go. Let's go back to our pages again and back to our World War II airplanes. Now notice I don't have to do anything on this page in here because this is just grabbing that form from the forms database. So once I've placed it on the page, that's all you have to do. Let's go ahead and view our page here. 
there's our page. Let's scroll down a little bit. And there's the form with that text removed off the side. So just a real nice little scrolling form box. Again, making just a new form, and all the form contains is just that one scroll text box. So there you go. That's working with the different forms.